Spear fishing is a more dangerous and effective form of the fishing scam. Regular fishing attacks are generally not personalized and are sent out to masses of people. Spear phishing, on the other hand, is a more targeted attempt to steal sensitive information from a specific victim. Cyber criminals acquire personal details about their victims by sifting through social media posts on Facebook or personal profiles on LinkedIn. Before long, they can find a victim's full name, work history, geographical location, recent purchases, and even partial or full account numbers. All the information they need to create cleverly disguised emails that look like they have been sent from someone the victim knows and trusts, such as a friend, coworker, or even their bank manager. Again, anyone can fall for it, even those who actually work in the cybersecurity industry. In 2011, over 500 workers at a national research laboratory in Tennessee received emails that appeared to be from the company's human resources department. The email contained a more information link and was clicked on by several people, which then enabled the attackers to access the company's network. This case demonstrates just how sophisticated spear phishing can be, as it fooled employees working at a lab that stores highly classified government data. Employees who fall victim to spear phishing attacks put their entire company at risk. Clicking on malicious links and attachments allows criminals to plant malware and gain access to the company's banking credentials and intellectual property. Here's a couple of examples. At a California escrow firm, an employee opened a spear phishing email that appeared to have been sent from UPS. When the employee clicked on an attachment, her computer silently installed a backdoor that criminals immediately used to steal $465,000 from the firm's bank account. Then there was the infamous hack of the Sony Pictures Entertainment Company. In this case, hackers scouted LinkedIn to gain names and job titles of Sony system engineers and network administrators. Then they sent those employees spear phishing emails that appeared to be from Apple, asking them to verify their Apple IDs due to unauthorized activity in their accounts. By clicking on the links in the emails, employees unknowingly gave the hackers access to Sony's entire global network, where over 100 terabytes of data, financial reports, and digital copies of movies were stolen. This attack was not only a PR nightmare, the cost of the company exceeded a billion dollars. So, to avoid being a victim of a spear phishing attack, the fundamentals still apply. Don't automatically trust an email because it contains personal information. Remember, the spear phisher thrives on familiarity. Don't click on links in emails, especially if the message warns of an account problem. Launch your browser and go directly to the site. Pay attention to the URL. Many phishing sites don't even try to use believable URLs. Don't register your details. Registering your credit card or other personal details puts your information at risk if the site is hacked. After all, we've just seen how easily that can happen.